This is Ian Lamont, author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. Today I'm going to show you how to embed a Google Slide presentation on a WordPress website. If this video helps, please subscribe and like the video. Let's get started. Here is an example of what I want to do. This is a WordPress website. This is a slide presentation I've embedded in a blog post, but I could also do it in a blog page. I'm going to make a similar presentation posted on the very same blog. I'm going to show it to you step by step and basically let's get started. And there's a couple important steps to take before you actually get into the mechanics of doing this. It doesn't take long to do it, but just make sure you have things set up in the right way. So I'm actually going to go to the dashboard first because I want to show you that there's a very important uh, setting that you need enabled in WordPress. And that's basically when you create a blog post like this, you need to be able to see the editor, like the basic, the old fashioned WordPress editor. And it needs to have a, either a text or an HTML option here. If you go into WordPress and you do not see a text or HTML option here, what you need to do is go to your plugins area, go to installed plugins, see if you have something called classic editor and make sure it's activated. If you do not see classic editor, and this is, by the way, this is an official plugin from automatic, which makes WordPress, make sure that you add the plugin called classic editor, because you'll need it in order to do what I'm about to show you. So, Let's go to Google Slides now. And this is the slide. This is like a marketing or a design and branding slide that I want to embed on my blog. I'm going to go to File, Share, Publish to Web. And then there's Link and Embed. Select Embed, Slide Size. On that other blog post I showed you, it was set to small. I'm going to select this one to Medium. Auto Advanced Slides. I'm going to make sure that that's set to every 10 seconds. So when um, people come to the website, it will start automatically and then every 10 seconds it'll go to the next slide. And then I'm going to just make sure that publish content in settings, make sure that this last option here, if you see it, make sure it's not selected. You do not want to restrict access to people in your organization because that means nobody outside of your organization will be able to see the slideshow on WordPress. Okay, I'm going to click publish. It says, are you sure you want to do that? Yes. And then it has a computer code. You need to copy this code. So you can use a keyboard shortcut. That would be Control C in Windows, Command C in Mac. I'm just going to do right click, copy. I'm going to go to my WordPress website. I'm going to create a new post. I'm going to give it a title, uh, Marketing Presentation from last year. And then down here, I might give a little text intro. Here is the branding presentation from last year, okay? Then make sure that you select text. It can't be visual. You need text. It might say HTML for certain older versions of WordPress, but just make sure that you're in the text or the HTML view. You need that. And then what I'm going to do is, I don't need this. I'm just going to paste in that text I copied over from Google Slides, paste. And you can see it was pasted in there this iframe code. Then I'm going to click publish. And then I'm going to check and see my work. Here it is. Here is the branding presentation from last year. It's embedded on my WordPress blog. I could also put it on a WordPress page. I can, it'll automatically advance as it's doing right now, or I can use the arrows at the bottom to go where I want to go. Okay. I really hope that this video helped you understand how to embed a Google Slides presentation in WordPress. If it did, please take a moment to like or, or subscribe on YouTube. For more information, check the links in the description. And thank you so much for watching.